Our planet is in trouble, with fast changes in climate harming the diversity of life. The fossil fuel industry has actively opposed clean energy for personal profit. But there's hope. Worldwide, renewable energy is growing, and these alternatives are vital for fighting climate change. Revolutionizing solar power with innovations like vertical solar modules and diversifying our energy sources will aid biodiversity. By adopting eco-friendly practices and reducing reliance on fossil fuels, the major greenhouse gas contributors, we can make a positive impact and save our planet. A report by independent energy think tank, Ember, revealed that wind and solar energy made up an all-time record high of 12% in the global energy generation market in 2022. Solar photovoltaics generated 4.5% of the world's energy in 2022, up from just 1.1% 1 .1 in 2015. Renewable energy sources, including nuclear energy, now make up 39% of global electricity. And according to a report by the International Energy Agency, global renewables will account for 90% of the global energy expansion in the next five years and will overtake coal to become the biggest source of energy. Solar energy growth. Solar technology isn't new. It has been around since the 7th century when humans started concentrating the sun's heat with mirrors and glasses to light fires. But we have come a long way from that. Now solar power accounts for a big chunk of the global energy market, with solar panel installations growing at a pace that would increase worldwide capacity by 85% in the next three years. Our sun is an unlimited source of energy, and it is a sustainable, free and clean resource that we can utilize to power our lives for centuries to come. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, 173,000 terawatts of solar energy bombard the Earth continuously, which is about 10,000 times more energy than the world uses. Thus, the return on investment for switching to solar energy is valuable, not only because it's cost-effective in the long run, but because it is essential for public health and environmental sustainability. To extract the most out of any solar panel arrangement, it is important that they are oriented in the direction of the sun's energy. Because the more direct the sunlight that falls on these panels, the more the output produced by the photovoltaic cells. Most solar energy setups install their panels horizontally and facing towards the south or at a tilt to catch the maximum amount of sunlight possible. But the sun at noontime is not always directly above us, and the panels placed horizontally might not be in the best position to effectively catch the sunlight to their maximum capacity. If the panels are at a tilt, then on a flat roof, these modules might disrupt sunlight and cast shade on the modules behind them. Another drawback to horizontal panels is that they will not be able to clean themselves effectively, and the dust buildup will impede electricity generation. Experts deduce horizontal panels lose as much as 10% efficiency due to dust accumulation. Horizontal solar panels may be the most abundant, but scientists now believe that vertical solar panels are the way of the future. This is because vertical solar panels have some major advantages over their horizontal counterparts. Vertical solar panels. The major one being they require less land than horizontal panels to achieve the same, or at times, even greater efficiency. Scientists from the Leipzig University of Applied Sciences in Germany have shown how installing solar panels at 90 degrees instead of the typical 20 to 35 degrees can help increase energy production. They claim that mounting bifacial solar panels with one side facing west vehicle and the other facing east will produce more electricity, and because they are bifacial, they will be able to catch energy in the mornings and evenings as well as at midday. This constant energy gathering will mean less need for energy storage, which itself will save more than 10 megatons of carbon dioxide every year. In the German energy system, these scientists calculated that vertical panels will increase total energy production by seven times from 50 to 400 gigawatts per year. While the initial cost of installation and production for these panels might be higher than the traditional horizontal ones, in the long run these panels will yield better results. Agrivoltaics with vertical solar panels. Vertical panels might also be the perfect solution for farmlands where combining agriculture with energy can be costly. The field of agrivoltaics has grown in recent years. Research by the Oregon State University found that solar and agricultural co-location was capable of providing 20% of total energy generation in the United States. But to make use of the land, while also manufacturing energy, horizontal solar panels need to be mounted on raised platforms so crops can grow underneath. 
There are, however, a couple of disadvantages to raising those panels. They block out the sun needed by the crops to grow, and they are also expensive to install. Researchers throughout the world are looking at vertically oriented solar panels for agrivoltaic installations. Sunstall, a company based in California, took its cues from its German counterparts and designed a system called Sunzon for agrivoltaics. This system, which utilizes bifacial module technology, is the first system of its kind in the United States. The first installation of Sunzon was done at a vineyard in Somerset, California. The system sits on a hillside between rows of grapevines and is composed of 43 450 watt modules, which are connected to a micro inverter and two batteries. This setup is capable of generating 23 kilowatts of energy. The minimalistic design also ensures easy installation and removal of the panels and offers a low cost solution to farmers. Sunzan has also managed to save valuable crops and land. They also claim their system will lower the need for irrigation as well as water storage. In Japan, Luxor Solar KK built an 8.3 kilowatt vertical photovoltaic system in the parking lot of a rice processing factory owned by Eco Rice. This south-facing system features Luxor's heterojunction solar modules and will supply energy to the rice plant. The cars will be parked between the vertical panels, ensuring that the parking space remains functional. Luxor Solar CEO hopes to show the durability of the system during the winter, as well as gather additional energy due to the reflection from the snow. The system is expected to have up to 15% greater efficiency than horizontal solar panels achieve during the winter months. Imagine if you could put vertical solar panels anywhere, like you would a pane of glass. Researchers at MIT in partnership with Ubiquitous Energy have created a transparent vertical solar panel. These panels look like clear window glass and let light through, unlike other solar panels. They absorb ultraviolet and infrared light and turn it into energy. The research team believes solar windows could provide up to 40% of energy to the United States. Since these vertical panels take less space than traditional solar panels, they can be fitted in buildings and offices in cramped cities. Netherlands-based company, Fizy, is already installing 15,000 of these smart windows in buildings and the company believes these transparent vertical modules will cut building energy costs by up to 30 percent. Transparent Glass Solar Module Aside from the transparent solar glass, which can only be used on buildings with glass windows, traditional vertical solar panels can also work on all residential buildings. High-quality roofs, which can maximize horizontal solar panel efficiency, are scarce. Because vertical solar panels can be mounted on the sides of buildings, they offer a much more viable and energy-efficient solution. Vertical Modules for Urban Areas In New York, Quixotic Systems has installed a 37-kilowatt array on the side of Urban Health Plan's Simpson Pavilion. The building had a limited roof space, but because it's a four-story building they had plenty of prime real estate on the side. These solar panels increased the health center's efficiency by 4%. These panels also cut cleaning costs, since these vertically mounted modules are self-cleaning. Viable land where we can effectively install solar farms is becoming more and more scarce, but the energy demands of our ever-growing population keep increasing. With the creation of vertical solar modules, we just might have found a long-lasting solution to our energy crisis.